Hello, uh, this is Fakhrul Alam here, and thanks for watching my video. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can install a WordPress theme in WordPress uh, platform by uh, manually and automatic, and by through WordPress admin server. So I will teach you uh, two steps: how to do it manually and how to upload, how to install directly from WordPress. So when once you log in into WordPress, and uh, it will be similar like this dashboard. And if you, if you follow my previous video, then if, then you can find out my flow, what I'm doing. So my dashboard looks like. And to install your WordPress, you have to go to Appearance. So first of all, what I will do, I will clean some. Uh, some theme already inside there. So I will delete this, and now I will show you how to install directly from WordPress. As you can see, it says install WordPress or uh, install theme. So and you can do by search whatever you like. Like you're going to do a uh, pizza website or whatever website. Then you can search over here and do the requirement you want. Do you, do you want one column? Do you want two columns? Three columns? The colors and all this stuff. But I usually go with the featured one because they are popular and their themes are very good. So to 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 show an example, I would just simply install a what a theme. I will install this one. Responsive. Install now. And I, I can do live preview. I can do activate. So I will activate it. I will activate this uh, theme. So as you can see, when you come, go to appearance and theme, you can see which theme is activated. You can see responsive is activated. And let me see whether my theme has been changed or not. Yep, my theme has been changed. This is nice. This is quite nice uh, template. As you can, as you can see, you can do desktop, you can do phone and tablet. So it is quite nice template. You can use go for it. Uh, but I will, I will, I will install my. On the choice template which I have already stored in my hard drive, and I'm going to upload through my uh, FTP software, which is called FileZilla. So I will show you. But before that, I will delete this theme. Basically, I don't like some uh, some some stuffs which are not needed, so I straight away delete them. And now that's it. So I will upload to FileZilla. So to upload manually, you need a software called FileZilla. It's called uh, FileZilla. Let me give you the website. I can just Google it, FileZilla, and you can see this says FileZilla. So download it and install in your computer, and your software will look like this. So basically, when you when you open this uh, uh, this software, then what you have to do, you have to type your domain over here. Minus x.com. Uh, give your C panel, uh, C panel username. Give your password. You don't need port. Just say quick connect. So once you come back, your your details will be stored over here. So you can you can quickly connect. And I'm going to install the theme in the in the in, in in my server, so I can I can pick the theme from the WordPress. So once you connect and the things, once you connect, the website file will be on the right hand side, and your hard drive files will be on the left hand side. So I will go on the right hand side, and I will go to the folder where I want to upload the theme. Now we'll go to the root file which is public HTML and then go to WP content. Then go to theme. 
then upload the theme over here so my theme is this theme I'll go inside and this is my theme name I will just right click and upload so I will pause the video to upload this so let it upload so so that the theme is been uploaded so I'll go back to the go back to my WordPress dashboard and I will just refresh I will go to appearance and theme or I can just do refresh then I can see the theme is been installed as you can see the my theme is installed in over here below available theme I will just activate it it is called black skyline it is like quite good uh, theme and other theme I use like thesis so this is also quite good to use because plenty of website is been running by TC mine so I, I go for black sky line or thesis and if I want to build a company website then I can go for this kind of website uh, so this kind of theme so this is how you can install WordPress theme and um, automatically and manually I will delete this cool. so the next task is to go for plugins and do settings and uh, widget or menus so there's plenty of other works so we need some uh, I will do in other videos as well to how to set up your WordPress properly according to your themes and what plugins you need and what settings you have to do so that video will be shared on other video so you you might find the video in the link be, link below because that uh, because I have done so many uh, video training in my blog so you, you might find the video over there and just click on that and you might find the next uh, uh, you, you, you will see a title says how to set up or how to do the settings of WordPress so you might find that uh, wait for my uh, video to come live and so I will do the all the other stuff on the next video and thanks for watching uh, this video and hope this video really helped you so take care and see you later on